Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video, but thank you for today, and today what we're doing, well, we are on World of Warships console, that's right, boys and girls, back on here, and what we're doing is that we're going to be taking a look at this Tier 3 French destroyer, the uh, Barra Barracio, the Barracio, I'm hoping, <laughs> I don't know if I'm butchering that name pretty badly here, but we are going to be taking a look at the ship, and also taking it down to a battle, uh, of course, like this, most of these videos go, Look at the stats and then take it out to the battlefield and uh see how she performs in the open ocean yeah <laughs> um i do have a decent well i guess i could say let's just hope we can get a decent gameplay with this ship well, maybe who knows we'll see um but first of all we're going to be starting off with the modification but this does release in leads not le lead not leads <laughs> Uh, lead into the uh, tier 4 uh, French, I was going to say Italian, don't know why I was going to say Italian, uh, the French tier 4 destroyer. And in my modification, I put Emmy System Mod 1, um, main battery dispersion uh, 7%, torpedo launcher traverse speed is 20%, and secondary battery firing range is 5%, and secondary battery dispersion 5%. Um, the same way doesn't have secondaries, to be honest, but I uh, just add because of the torpedoes um, with this ship, because this ship doesn't have smoke. Um, I would rather do with the torpedoes than this, uh, because this will increase your main battery's uh, traverse speed by 20%, but with the aiming system mod 1, I like it because of the torpedoes. That's my <laughs> thoughts on it, but uh, you guys might like the idea of using your main batteries. You could always test out what you want to do. The loadout, it gets HE, AP, and torpedoes. So it gets a damage control party, uh, consumer duration, 5 seconds, reload time is 40 seconds. Then we get a engine boost, uh, max speed is 20%, uh, consumer duration, 120 seconds. And max reload, uh, reload time, not max reload time. Oh my gosh. I don't know where's my mind at today, guys. I'm sorry for that. The reload time is 180 seconds, and you get only get two of these. Unlike this, where you get unlimited of them. Yeah. Uh, this, and, uh, yes, uh, this is new here. Um, I come to find out that this has actually changed. Uh, but, what's, uh, that's traversing to a different topic. Um, survivability. The hit points is 11,700. Not bad, I guess you could say. Maybe. Eh, who knows? Um, your main batteries is 130 mm 40 mil 1919. You get four of these, so you get two guns in the front of the ship and two guns in the rear of the ship. Fighting range is 9.8 kilometers. Reload time is 6.3 seconds. Turning time is 18 seconds. Uh, max HG shell damage is 2,050. Uh, firing setting chance is 9%. Max AP shell damage is 2,450. That's right. A little more than the um, HE, but the HE also can catch a fire, so much more better uh, resourcement there, I guess you could say. Uh, in ways of catching people on fire. Oh, my bad. Let's go to the torpedoes. She gets 550 meter Lancer torpedoes, and she gets two launchers. Now, that only means the launchers. Doesn't mean the tubes. Like I've been saying in these videos, uh, the tubes. Depending on how many tubes you get in the ship, though, it doesn't tell you right here. You just gotta look at the ship's torpedo launchers and stuff. Um, but the turning time is six seconds. Max damage is eleven thousand two hundred and sixty-seven, and torpedo detection range by sea is one point two kilometers. Torpedo range is seven point seven kilometers, and torpedo speed is sixty-one knots. Now let's move on to AA. She only gets two of them. Uh, short to mid range AA. Uh, she gets the thirteen point two millimeter seventy-six CAD mil nineteen twenty-nine. Gets only two of these. Average damage per second is 7, and firing range is 1.2 kilometers. She also gets the 37 mm 50 cal mil 1925. I uh, only gets two of these. Average damage per second is 3, and firing range is 3 kilometers. I mean, that's pretty marvelous. What kind of AA you got? I don't know. Um, the max speed for the ship is 33 knots. Uh, Three and circle radius is 560 meters and rotor shift time is 3.4 seconds 
and concealment we got detectability range by sea is 5.7 kilometers detectability of after firing your main guns is 9.8 kilometers and detectability when the ship is on fire 7.7 kilometers uh detectability by air is 2.9 kilometers detectability after you're firing your main batteries from the air is 5.5 kilometers and when the ship is on fire is 5.9 kilometers Granted detectability range is 2 kilometers detectability while firing in smoke is 2.2 kilometers now do remind you ships are well destroyers i say they are way better at firing in the smoke than cruisers and battleships because when they fire their main guns um they get all my detected that's a matter of the parentry or not it, if you're just a cruiser and a battleship and stuff i th think that all that still does work out for console i know it does for pc but yeah remind remember that when you're a destroyer and someone else spotting the enemy for you and um you're firing you're not really going to be detected that quick uh right off the bat unlike a battleship where they fire they're going to get detected no matter what they think of unless if their secondaries are working over the enemy team then maybe so but uh yeah of course that's the armor now like i can also say in my uh, tank reviews armor is always good to know even though in world warships you're not really too much worried about your citadel being hit but he hitting you and doing huge damage to your ship so we'll see uh, for the the armor here uh we got bottom 10 meters thickness for in deck is also 10 the foreign plates are also 10 the bottom is 10 the aft end deck is 10 the aft end plates are also 10 the superstructure armor uh top side plates are 10 and side plates are also 10. uh we get the main battery mounts uh side plates are three to six bottom plates are three to six top plates are three to six frontal plates is three to six and there you go and the visual ship part armor uh bottom is 10 deck is also 10 the arthur ship is also 10 the armor belt is 10 the arthur ship is also 10. so the thickest armor on this ship is going to be both well, 10. and because this is a tier 3 ship you will be seeing tier fours um a, a good bit but you know you're a destroyer so use that stealth i know you don't have smoke but this ship is pretty stealthy and no sure why uh are you okay skisco uh you trying to make yourself inside the video the little buy <laughs> yes i uh, scooby the guys in the background um our little dog the bacteria chihuahua what is it i know you don't know <laughs> don't mind him in the background but let's look at the captain a real quick second hmm? okay i'm sorry for that guys i thought uh i thought i heard something uh in my background somewhere um his base uh trait is i just i despair uh destroy dispersion time after firing main guns are 7.5 percent and then I basically built this destroyer with basically a, a stealthy and torpedo kind of build and stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, but what we have is contact is important. Uh, torpedo speed is two knots faster. Then we have look at me now. Uh, seat detection range is 2%. And then we have back in stock. Torpedo launcher reload time is 2% more. And then also side step uh destroyer main battery range is three percent and then incoming fire dispersion two percent and rudder shift time is ten percent why i add this is because the ship doesn't have smoke so what's the sense of taking the smoke in the water when i don't have smoke so this is the next best option um i mean you could deal die around with all of these different other things and stuff um like quick fix incoming splash damage is four percent uh but yeah it also depends on what level your captain is as well but a legendary perk is unstoppable uh engine repair time is 2.5 percent 
and special effect, which is when a allied ship is at least three kilometers in range, uh, damage control party cooldown time is 50 percent. So yeah, that is the captain for my French destroyers. I mean, would there be another one? I mean, if you want to pick him um, for as your captain, I mean, destroyer main gun HE show. Oh, I mean, if you do have this captain or maybe this captain, but whatever one you think is the better one, or at least the one you have for a destroyer, don't throw in there a cruiser captain or a battleship captain because they just won't make the ship work as effective. So do keep that in mind, Mitt. I mean, you could throw them in there, but your destroyer is probably not gonna be as effective in, well, in the battlefield, so yeah. But that is probably going to be it for this ship there, guys. Uh, well, actually, the ship review in port here. Uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the open ocean uh, fighting enemy ships, battleships, cruisers, and destroyers, and maybe even a carrier. Who knows? Uh, but definitely, I guess I'll see you guys there. See you there on the battlefield. Yo, guys, we're back on, on Hotspot. Yep, that's right, Hotspot. Um... I gotta say a few things with the destroyer. If you want to play World of Warships on either console or PC on hard mode, well, play the French destroyers. This is as close as of like playing the hard game on hard mode. I, I guess say so playing any destroyer, but more so with French and probably even I think it is the European destroyers, uh, because most of them don't get smoke except the tier 7 premium on console uh does get smoke but aside from that the tech tree don't really get smoke so yeah well what am i thinking here on this battle and well i was thinking about going over there on that one side of the map up here near the all the islands but i was like you know what and you're probably gonna see it right here here soon on the other side start turning because I want to kind of like get some spots out and stuff um that's basically what the destroyer can do but let's also go for the cap circles if you can so yeah there's only one I guess we can capture well there's two other ones but yeah we do spot somebody we spot a cruiser near side there we spot looks like a battleship way too far for our guns um there's that cruiser again i think we spot another cruiser somewhere else don't know i don't think we spot that guy but we did spot this guy right here coming over here and we're about to spot something else as well a destroyer right there which spots me which is pretty good in my advance because that way i can open up fire get him out of this game fast because you know we don't have smoke so we might as well take him out of the game and there's not many ships that are shooting at us except that cruiser over there and stuff but as long as we keep our butts towards the other enemies you know, there's islands well we become a very much small target he pops smoke this destroyer does which is a pretty well, smart, but he was not going slow enough to stay in the smoke, so his mistake, I guess you could say. But we're definitely pounding on him, and we are definitely asking our allies to support from this guy. Um, the faster we get him out of the game, basically means we need more of an impact that we can try to have in the game with our destroyer. Um, we allow the vision, and there we go, he's gone. And I decide to launch torpedoes at this cruiser. And let's see, can we shoot our main guns at this guy? Oh, okay, yeah, we're shooting. But that doesn't look like we're going to get much out of him, maybe. We put one servo, we put another. And he gets taken out before my second servo does go for him. And my torpedoes even hits him. I use one launcher. And I did forget to show you guys how many launch by tubes you get in each launcher you get three in each so being free you get six torpedoes in the water um i could be wrong but i think three in 
two, you get six. So yeah, miss correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or tell me I. Well, I don't know. Uh, but for right now, it's pretty peaceful. Um, there's guys over there. The Italian battleships are there as well. Um, and we're basically too far away to really do anything with our torpedoes or heck, even our guns. And that the sort of smoke is still there. I mean, it's American smoke, so it's going to last for a good while and stuff. But yeah, definitely. I guess I turned off my AAA, AA here because I don't want it, the carrier to go on top of me and then, well, even if he does, he will still basically spot me and there's not much I can do except maneuver and I don't think any enemies are actually in sight but yeah we use our engine boost and there's a cruiser right there which I do see somebody's uh spider from which I think is a cruiser over there we get our torpedoes out yep that's the cruiser he's out of range for our gun so we can't really do much about that can we and he's out of range for my torpedoes so definitely can't do nothing with my torpedoes either so okay can't do nothing to that guy but what about you yeah he's still out of range for my guns and my torps so there's nothing i can do against that new york class battleship so i'm just here just looking at these two guys thinking where should i go should i go for the battleship or should i go for the Loser. I see a, a um, brand new tier 4 premium cruiser, which is actually the Oma. Just it's for the event that's going on for both World Warships and World Tanks. And I decided to load AP. Why? Well, I'm expecting to get some kind of like Citadel. And my first shot, two shots don't hit. My other two Zavros, well. Two shots don't hit as well, and now he's beat himself, and I am spot. So I need to get rid of this guy pretty quickly. We do get some capture assist, and we are taking some hits. Perhaps it could be the cruiser or the battleship. I don't know, but that uh, Omaha is actually well. I'm just gonna call it Omaha. I knocked out my steering wheel. Well, you might damage going to party. And he sets a fire on me. He gets taken out by a ally. Which is good for me because well with the ray of fire of that type of ship, yeah, he could definitely well kill me. And I guess he's expecting me to run into those torpedoes. I'm not sure, but <laughs> no, we're not gonna run out run into those torpedoes because we've seen them, so yeah. Expect that well that ship to use torpedoes because it's one of the few American ships that can use torpedoes between the Homo and the Phoenix and I think the Atlanta and the Flint are like the few American cruisers that can actually use torpedoes. I think there's one other one, Marblehead, um, which is basically another Homo class cruiser that can also use torpedoes. But now what we're doing? Well. We're thinking about going for the New York class battleship. Please just correct me if I'm wrong. If that's the, the name of the ship. It's kind of hard to tell. But uh, what I'm telling by it, it is New York. So, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry if it, it's hard for me to tell what that is. Is because where I'm recording. Well, not recording, but editing the video. Um, it's a very small screen and it's very hard to see those types of names, so yeah. But I'm not just going to shoot and I'm trying to use my um, wheel to ask, uh, ask people to help to support to kill this guy because if I start shooting now, I'm definitely going to be detected. And I mean, I could say being an island, start shooting, but if he hasn't fired and he hasn't, he could go undetected and, you know, get behind the, the islands and, yeah, <laughs> we weren't wrong that that to happen. So, watching how far he is with, with my torpedoes, that's why I always do that with my torpedoes at least, to see how far he is and how fast he is going. 
and well, that Talon Battleship is over that way, or at least I think he's going to be over that way. And we're gonna have a little mishap with this cruiser, Russian cruiser. I started slowing down so he can go ahead, but he starts turning inwards, so I had to hurry up, speed up, and we eh, have a little bump. I guess fist bumps. Would the French have fist bumps for the Russians? I really don't know. But will these two peels go? Well, I mean, I'm hoping they kill him because. I'm spotted. And I think he's starting to shoot me. Yep. Knocks out my steering, use my turn control party. And boom. Yep. Second kill with a flood with a torpedo. <laughs> uh very exciting. Um I mean at first when I first started this game and they did bury any damage, I thought maybe it wouldn't be good enough for YouTube, but well, I think it's good enough now. And now you see me seeing how far the Italian battleship is. He's way out far from my torpedoes. He's, well, not close to my guns. And we're so far winning. We have, I think, four ships. Oh, wait, never mind. Make that three ships now. Uh, there's me, a cruiser, and a carrier. And that guy's still far away. So, yeah. Hmm. And they still have two ships, the carrier and their battleship up there, which at the time I was not paying attention to the scoreboard. We are winning on points. So that is a mistake that I was going to take hugely in this game. And well, I guess you could say it could cost us the game if I get spotted here right now. Um, because, like, he, all he has to do is shoot HEMA if he has it loaded, and, yeah. He's still basically kind of on full health, as I could tell, but we launched both two PO tubes, um, hoping that for at least both of them hit him, at least all of them, so that way we can kill him, try to get him out of this game. As so I start turning because I don't want to get too close to him, because then that way he will spot me and then his secondaries could start opening up on me and he could start shooting me with his main guns and stuff um, which wouldn't be good but it looks like he's not really focused but kind of is because he dodges those first wave of torpedoes and he's firing at I think my cruiser friend which is shooting him right now, which I should be going to the cap with my cruiser friend right there. But, uh, well, for some reason I decided not to do that. Don't know why. Uh, I should actually get in the cap, but, well, I guess as long as I keep him throwing torpedoes at this guy, something should stick, right? Well, he's under attack by the aircraft carrier and also me, kind of, at this point. And also, our cruiser friend is still shooting. Um, I'm making sure he's still in range for my torpedoes. Uh, you could tell I want to shoot my guns, but I know if I do, I get detected, and then he will focus fire on me. And he's starting to turn, which is kind of good. As you can see, I'm trying to aim my torpedoes. I already pulled out one launcher, and I won't wait. But uh, yeah, my cruiser friend dies, and. But well, here is where I'm trying to make the decision, what should I do? Should I go for the cap? Should I keep on trying to kill this guy? What? So we launch another round of torpedoes and I'm deciding I should go for the cap. Because if we go for the cap, we get that extra cap in and uh, we get the points. Meaning we, we are already head on points, so there's no need of winning harder. So. Yeah, I guess I could say, you could definitely say this game, um, I was probably trying to win a little bit harder, but there's no need for me to do that, because we're already on points, like I said, but, yeah, we're going to go for the cap, um, but we got some aircraft in the overhead, and I think he starts spotting me, but the battleship, I don't think he's paying attention, 
I don't even think he has the range, I'm not sure. And we turn on the AA, which they really need to. And the fat bashup gets high caliber, which is he's going for the carrier. And I'm trying to weave and dodge here because I said the by the time the carrier was still well, its aircraft is still in the sky. The one ships left is that battleship. Oh, uh, but I thought the carrier was still like was using its aircraft. But I don't think they're in the sky anymore, so that's a good thing, right? Well, yeah, it is, and we're in the side of the uh cap here. So we'll see if we can cap out and try to win this game the other guys instead of trying to throw the game. Yes. This was a close one, and to be honest, the amount of hit points I have, he doesn't even need to look at me. But then, as long as I don't want to be captured, I don't have to be captured by him. So, yeah, as long as he doesn't kill that carrier and then puts us down one point. But uh, for now, he goes undetected. Uh, he's going for our carrier, or at least trying to. And let's see. We don't have much longer for capturing this point. And if. Oh, wait, there he is. He's still as far. Never mind. He's still shooting on this carrier. I start slowing down so I can not get this cap. My plan was to get this one and try to go for the other one. We get this one. We're still hitting points. That's not enough time to go for the other one. The other cab. I'm trying to get where they really have a lot of points. And the ticker's going off, and we're about to win. And I think at this point, the carrier died too. So, that was a <laughs> very close one, but you know what? Uh, that's gonna be it for this video there, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please leave a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.